Second big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin. From the moment he put his over 150,000 troops on the Ukrainian border, the price of gasoline in January went up 75 cents. President warning about U.S. petrol or gas price hikes. The decision today is not without cost here at home. Putin's war is already hurting American families at the gas pump. Since Putin began his military buildup on Ukrainian borders, just since then, the price of the gas at the pump in America went up 75 cents. And with this action, it's going to go up further. I'm going to do everything I can to minimize Putin's price hike here at home. Thank you, Jen. We just heard you say again that you think inflation is going to be temporary. We heard you say that it was going to be temporary since last spring. So how long do you guys think temporary is? Well, again, Peter, I think what we do is we rely on the assessments of the Federal Reserve and of outside economic analysts who give an assessment of how long it will last. The expectations and their assessment at this point continues to be that it will moderate by the end of the year. There's also no question that when a foreign dictator invades a foreign country and when that foreign dictator is the head of a country that is the third largest supplier of oil in the in the world, that that is going to have an impact. And it is. And so to that point, <laughs> inflation goes up today. The president's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just going to start blaming Putin for everything until the midterms? Well, we've seen the price of gas go up at least 75 cents since President Putin lined up troops on the border of Ukraine. And, and last month, the statement didn't mention the Putin price hike. It mentioned inflation because of the pandemic. Why is that? Well, Peter, last year, last two years, there was a pan global pandemic. Everyone who's a global economist have all agreed that that has been the biggest contributor to date of inflation because of the impact on the supply chain. Obviously, global events impact the economy, the global economy, as well as global inflation. And the uh, price hikes as a result that have ex escalated over the course of time of President Putin's further invasion of uh, the impact on the global oil markets are, of course, having an impact.